numeric calculations and substitution in main. So here we are, we're in main and all ready to go. Um, we've got the uh, templates up here for the soft keyboard. Now, our job is to work out, in this case, uh, a fairly complicated expression. Let's start with a two. We've got the square root of 5.1 squared, 5.1 to the power of two, I'll enter that as. Subtract 2.7 squared, 2.7 to the power of two. Uh, now when I tap execute, we get an exact value come up here uh, because I'm at the bottom of the screen here you can see we're working in standard mode. If I tapped onto decimal uh, and pressed execute, basically the calculation is repeated only because we're working in decimal mode then it's coming up with a decimal approximation to the actual exact value here. Uh, another way of converting between them is if uh, uh, I'm in a decimal mode here and I wanted it in its exact mode. I can tap on this icon uh, up in the top row here and it's converted back. And again, tap on a result and convert, it converts it back. So this little icon here basically converts between exact and approximate values. Or you can consistently get results in exact form by being in standard or always get a values as approximations in decimal mode. Let's stick with standard for a while. Okay, we'll clear that out and have a look at um, working out an angle here. So we've got an expression that we need to type in. We'll start off with a fraction template. Upstairs, we need six squared plus five squared minus three squared. And downstairs, we're going to have, so I'll tap into the down box. Uh, we want two times six times five. Now, then we want the angle whose cosine is given by this expression. So I'm going to wrap the whole expression in brackets and then move to the beginning of the line, head down to the trig tab and tap cos minus one. Now, when I press execute, on account of me being in standard mode, we get the exact value. If I want to get the approximate value of this, I can tap onto this and hit the converter. Or let's repeat the whole thing again. So we entered the expression, pressed execute. Another way is under the action transform approximate. And this command converts any exact value into its approximate decimal form. So when I tap execute now, it takes the last value and converts it into its decimal equivalent. Substitution is also fairly straightforward. Let's clear things out here. Suppose we've got this quadratic expression x squared uh, minus 4x plus 5. And our job is to substitute x as negative a half into this. So head down to the Math 3 tab on the side here and over to the substitution tool. We want this expression given that x is equal to negative 0.5. I press execute and our result comes up. And again, we've got it in decimal um, uh, exact form. If I tap onto it and convert, it's 7.25. Finally, let's look at when we want to substitute more than one variable. So we'll start again. In this expression, upstairs we've got x squared minus y squared. And in the numerator of the fraction, we've got x plus y. Now two variables here and we've got two substitutions to make. So there's a couple of methods. First is simply to use given for every variable. So we want this expression given that x is equal to 3 quarters, 3 divide 4. And then given, so I've tapped the given symbol again, that y is equal to 2 thirds, 2 divide 3. When I press execute, simplify. Um, we get the simplified result very quickly and easily. Um, this is particularly useful for substituting with negative numbers. An alternative way of doing this, um, I'm going to copy the whole expression down to a new line. Uh, I'm going to take out the given in between here. So I'm going to backspace, replace it with a comma. And this is another way of substituting. You can substitute a list of values. Now to make sure Classpad understands we've got a list, I'm going to wrap the two values in a set of curly braces and now we get exactly the same result going on there. And that's substitution.